Right now on WUSA 9 News at 11, a community frustrated, shaken, when a day that was supposed to be fun ended in gunfire. Thank you for being here with me. I'm Lorenzo Hall. It was Senior Skip Day in Prince George's County. Hundreds of kids ended up at a park in Greenbelt, but someone had a gun. Shots rang out and five kids were rushed to the hospital. So at this hour, police are still looking for the gunman. Alexis Wainwright starts us off live from where this happened at Strom Hills Recreation Park in Greenbelt. Alexis. Yeah, well, just five hours ago, I spoke with two teenage boys who were here at that gathering off camera. They told me they're still shaken up by all of this, and they say they came here for a fun time and to see friends. And next thing you know, they heard gunshots. It was supposed to be a fun senior skip day at Shroom Hills Recreation Park. This video shows the gathering of what police say was about 600 people, but kids was walking uh, back towards the Safeway. They had water guns in their hand, but it was just supposed to be, I heard it was supposed to be just a regular little water balloon fight and it escalated. Within 15 minutes of several police agencies on scene monitoring the gathering, several gunshots rang out. It's just very unfortunate that um, an event like this can turn so tragic in just like a matter of seconds. There is absolutely no reason that this occurred. Um, it is senseless. It is chronic in our society. <laughs> Five boys were injured, all ages 16 to 18 years old. It's really frightening. It's shocking that you know this thing should happen again in this manner. And the people who live in this community are trying to wrap their minds around what happened. To see that somebody was shot or a couple of people are shot is really, really, it's heartbreaking. It's usually quiet. People be walking the dogs. It'd be like usually the park is us kids playing. And as police comb through evidence, this community hopes something will change and the violence will stop. Hopefully um, we can look forward as a community and also not only look forward, but um, try to, you know, avoid things like this by having like patience, you know, understanding for others and really thinking before we act. They just need to put the guns down. And within the last 10 minutes, I spoke with Greenbelt police who tell me one of those teenage boys has life threatening injuries tonight. Meanwhile, the four others are stable. Police still looking for that shooter who they believe was able to slip away when everyone was running from those gunshots. Live in Greenbelt, Alexis Wainwright, WUSA 9. Yeah, you know, Alexis, I keep thinking about those five teens who were shot today. The hundreds of teens who were at the park at the time just trying to have fun. And this is how they're ending their senior year. They will not forget this day. We're thinking of them all tonight, Alexis.